Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle. Ooh, my education. That was kind of weird. Um, I'm Danielle and I teach 4K in Wisconsin. And I am going to share with you week four of our Reduce, Reuse, Recycle study, which we finished today. So this is what we did last week um, for this study. Let's get started. Sometimes I have changed things up from when we did the lesson plans. Um, so I do my best to tell you pretty much what we did, but um, I might forget. So it is what it is. On Monday, our question of the day was, um, should you throw paper out the window? And of course the answer is no. And um, we talked about why we put trash where it belongs in a trash can. Um, and we talked about the word litter. We read the book, The Adventures of Harry and Gary, which is a really great book about a turtle who um, swallows a bag and um, littering and what how that can affect the animals. We talked about that. Um, their seesaw assignment was, there's a little, the little monster poem. And um, that was, that's a mighty minute. Um, and how the assignment was, how could they teach the litter monster to um, not litter? And that was really cute because that some of the kids drew pictures on the seesaw um, with the seesaw tools. Some of them just told us what they could do. Um, it was a choice of how they wanted to respond to it, but responses were, were great. Um, play ch and choice time activities that day. There was um, a yoga flow that I recorded. Um, there was um, creating a 3D litter bug or any kind of creature or structure with recyclable materials. Um, there was our second step lesson. Um, they could read a book to someone and by looking at the pictures. And then answering a question, what would happen if we all littered and threw all of our trash out of the window or on the streets? And they could either draw something in their journal or share a voice response to that. So, and then our small group that day, we were, they had to bring their chalkboard and their chalk and we did um, musical chairs. So as the music played, the kids got up and danced. When the music paused, they quickly sat down. I held up um, a number and they wrote their number on their chalkboard and then held it up when they were done. That was fantastically fun. I loved that one. That was a new one. Um, we hadn't done that one before. Um, we also started, I think last week when we sing our hello song, um, we change it up a little bit. We still sing, hello, Danielle, hello, Danielle, hello, Danielle. We're glad you're here today. And then we hold up the next person's name. And so if, it was, if I was first, I would have to tell, um, everybody what the name was. So we're trying to get the kids to recognize each other's names, not just their own name now. And if they don't, maybe they can tell us what the first letter is. And if they don't know that, then we um, we help them. So that has been fun. Um, the question of the day is, um, let's see, we changed it. The creative curriculum had um, the question, are monsters real or pretend? But we didn't, we changed it a little bit. Um, and I can't remember what it was but that's okay. We um, talked about, again, about the adventures of Gary and Harry, and we um, did a little pre-reading of what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end, and we talked a little bit more about where that plastic bag should have gone while we were reading it. Um, our seesaw assignment that day, oh, was an experiment, a science experiment. So I recorded a video of me performing the science experiment. I had taken some trash that I had collected um, and then I put it in a bowl of clean water and then I asked the kids to stop or pause the video and tell us what they predicted what would happen to the water. And also I said, if you would like to go and do this experiment yourself right now, then they could go do that. And then um, I continued the video and, and um, ask them to, what, to tell us what did they notice or making a connection to the book, um, The Adventures of Gary and Harry. And that was a lot of kids did the experiment, which was neat to see. Um, 
the playtime activities. As a movement, count how many times you can do a jumping jack or um, another movement in one minute or push-ups or something else. Um, another one was putting on some gloves and going for a walk and picking up litter, which also was great because they picked up the litter and then also they could use their litter for their science experiment. And kids shared photos of their um, collection of stuff that they picked up and it was really sad how much stuff they got, like a big bag full. Um, I didn't like that. Um, well, another choice was make a marble run using paper towels and tape and sticking it to the wall. And that was really cool to see how kids um, created their own marble run. Um, and then there was a book called Look Out for Litter that we linked on Epic. And um, I linked another, the last one was um, listen for a word that rhymes with your name. So I, I shared that song, listen for a word, listen for a word, listen for a word that rhymes with your name, Danielle, Danielle. And then they were asked to do that rhyming song with all the people in their family or pets or whoever. Um, then the small group that day was to bring a piece of paper. I showed them how to draw two lines and then turn their paper and doing two lines and then we um, made a bingo card writing numbers and if they didn't know how to write the numbers then they drew just dots on it um, and then I used the wheel of names which if you haven't um, experimented or even discovered the wheel of names I will link it down below because it is very fun um, and we played bingo so that was Tuesday Wednesday is our asynchronous day Oh, I forgot to tell you what our focus question this week was. Um, how do trash and garbage affect our community? And then the, also how can we reuse junk? So um, our assignments for Wednesday, our asynchronous day, was there um, a kids versus plastic um, videos on National Geographic. Um, a, another teacher put this assignment together. It was really good. Um, and what is something you and your family can do to reduce the use of plastic? Um, and that was the assignment that, or the responses that we got from that assignment were fantastic. Our play activities um, was a movement one and that was to look back on other assignments from the past and pick your favorite movement video and um, do that. Oh, do a science experiment again to show how trash builds up very quickly in a landfill and there was a link to that and how you can do that. There was a read aloud of the book, What Matters. And then the other one was use your sidewalk chalk that they got in their bag from the beginning of the year and draw long lines um, on the ground and then move along those lines in different ways, hopping back and forth, crawling, um, galloping, skipping, um, any different ways to. On Thursday, our question of the day was, can this be reused? And we just showed something that could be reused because on the next day, um, we did something that could not be reused. Or maybe it was the other way around, I can't remember. Um, and then when we sang hello to everybody, that was, I sang listen for your name. So I would say the child's name, all silly. And then they would have to figure out if I was saying their name. So listen for a word that rhymes with your name. So I would say Ben Yell. And then I would wait for the, that person to unmute themselves and say, hello. Um, we did two little blackbirds sitting on a, sitting on a wall, one named Danielle, one named Paul, fly away, Danielle, fly away, Paul, come back, Danielle, come back, Paul. And then I asked the kids to help me with it. And we changed it up a little bit. So they told me, um, what color the birds were, um, and then what, what they were sitting on. And those, then we all made, did the little rhyming song that way. Our pre-reading was talk about things that we can reuse instead of throwing them away. And then we read a book called Don't Lose It, Reuse It, which is part of our curriculum. I'll stick a picture there. Our assignment that day was to rainbow write their numbers one to 10 or higher. Um, they could use the seesaw tools. Um, they, rainbow writing means you, you know, you'd write the number one in yellow and then you'd write the number one over top of it in blue and just going over it um, in different colors. They could use um, markers or chalk or paint or the tools on Seesaw. Um, 
I also said that they could make the numbers with um, small item like objects. So, you know, one kid took the um, goldfish and just boop, 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 lined them all up for number one and then boop, 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 made the number two. And then our play and choice time activities that day, there was a movement. Um, there was a video on how crayons are made and um, giving them the options to reuse and make those crayons to make their new crayons. Um, I showed them how to play a game of war in cards and um, actually my daughter and I recorded us playing a little bit and then the kids could play that. Um, another one was for them to learn their address and their parents phone number and make a writing tray using sugar, salt, flour or anything like that and to practice writing the um, their last name and then also uh, talking about uppercase and lowercase letters. Um, with their family members. The last day, Friday, our large group, the question of the day is, can this be reused? And it was paper. Um, and we talked about what we can do with toys, clothes, or things that we don't need anymore. And we read the book, Peter's Chair, because um, Peter is growing up and he has a baby sister and he didn't want to share, give her, her his um, furniture, his little chair. Um, and so we talked about what you can do instead of throwing that chair out. Um, our seesaw assignment, fine motor practice, cutter, rip, recycled pieces of paper. Um, and they did that and they could create a picture or a number or spell out their name with all the little bits of pieces. Um, and that was fun to see the variety of stuff that we got for that assignment. Um, our play and choice time activities was uh, a hops creating a hops, ugh, hopscotch game. And um, it was a little video um, sharing how you make it and then also how you play hopscotch. Um, how to make a, um, a gift for somebody using recyclable materials. Um, making your own I like book. So I showed them how to make a book by folding the paper in half and then how they can write the words I like on every page and then drawing a picture of things that they like and then reading that book to someone. They loved that one. Um, and another one was, uh, another choice was learn how to make a bed. What did you do first? What did you do um, second? What did you do third? I'm sure families actually liked that assignment a lot. Um, and then lose and reuse are rhyming words. So we asked them to do, um, named objects around their house and rhyme words with it. Um, that was it, that's Friday. A whole week of week four of Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. That's it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Have a happy day.